The Binding of Isaac games mean a lot to me. I remember watching my brother play the original Binding of Isaac on our white 2010 MacBook that we shared. I wouldn't really be the one playing, but I would usually watch my brother go through rooms, defeating enemies and defeating bosses. A couple of years later, when Rebirth came out, I remember the excitement that I and my brother had. I remember on the day it released, he gave me a chance to try it out while he was at his friend's house. That was the day I fell in love with The Binding of Isaac. On Christmas Day of 2013, my family got a Wii U, and when Rebirth came to the Wii U on the eShop, I bought it. I played the hell out of Rebirth on Wii U, and when I got the chance to play on my brother's new iMac, I would play it on there too. I have so many memories of painful deaths, unlocking new items, and starting new save files. Now fast forward to 2017. I had gotten a Nintendo Switch, and one of the first games I bought in it was The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. I played even more Isaac than I did on the Wii U. Currently on my Nintendo Switch, I have almost or over 400 hours of gameplay and even more memories. Eventually, I would even get The Binding of Isaac Repentance on my PC and have even more adventures. Over the years, I have unironically lived, laughed, and loved through The Binding of Isaac games and DLC. So as a takeaway from this video, if you haven't gave any of the games or DLC a try, then go ahead and try at least one of them out because you might make some new memories along the way.